Hi everyone, here is Redlink D460 aircraft. It can be controlled by different transmitters. Optional Redlink transmitters include TAS, TAFB, T12D, T16D, AT9 Pro, and AT102. Today I'm going to introduce how to use Redlink AT102 to control D460. Remove the magnetic cabin cover. In all accessories are inside the body, we can see that D460 is installed with Radiolink BIM DB flight controller, which supports standard response and PPM signal. So you can use receivers or transmitters from other brands to control D460. Just make sure your receiver supports standard response or PPM signal. An AT2 is compatible with Radiolink R12DS, R12DSM. R9DS, R6DS, R6DSM receivers, all these receivers support sparse signal, so I recommend to use R6DSM or R12DSM receivers. And I take R12DSM as an example in this video. And here is BIMDB flight controller. Sparse and PPM signal is connected to the receiver. And make sure the positive and negative code cannot be reversed. Here is a collection. And channel 1 is connected to the left servo. Channel 2 to the right servo. And channel 3 to ESC here. Here are all the collections. And the bending of R12 DSM and H10 2 has already been done. I'll show you how to set the transmitter. Enter the basic menu. Model type. Set the type to acrobatic. It is also recommended to reset the model first or select a new model when set it. And the basic menu. Reverse. And set the direction of the throttle to reverse and other channels to normal. And in basic menu auxiliary channel. Set on three position switch to channel 5. I set it to switch C. The switch here and also a two position switch to channel 7 and I set it to switch D and switch here and return to the home page and server display and D460 has three flight modes the flight modes are controlled by the switch of channel 5 so I assign switch C to control channel 5 and push switch C up and it is stabilized mode and push switch C in the center general mode and push switch C down, manual mode. When you use other brand transmitters, please refer to the picture on the screen to switch the flight modes. And the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7. In the transmitter, I assign a two position switch, uh, switch D here to control the motor. And I will introduce the details of motor lock later. And when using other brand transmitters, please refer to the picture on the screen to lock or unlock the motor with a switch of channel 7. And to the basic menu system. And we need to uh, set the CH select here. If you're using R6 DSM mini receiver, you need to select uh, 10 CH for channel select. And if you're using R12 DSM receiver, you need to select 12 CH. So I need to uh, set 12 CH here. And by the way, you do not need to set any mixing in the transmitter because there is already the mixing in BAM DB. If the mixing function is set in the transmitter, there will be conflicts on mixing and affect the flight. After setting the transmitter, power on D460. When power is on, you need to keep D460 in a stationary state. The general of the flight controller will perform self-test. The self-test is done now. And we can see the LED of r DSM is purple, which represents the sparse working mode. And now there is motor set to lock for D460, and the motor can be locked or unlocked by channel 7. And I've already assigned a switch D to control it. Push switch D down, the motor is locked, and there is no throttle when you push the throttle joystick. And push switch D up. The motor is unlocked. The motor emits two long beeps, means the unlocking is successful. But we find that there is only one beep sound and no response of the throttle stick. 
so the city unlock fields and how to solve the problem. And first, you need to make sure the throttle stick is at the lowest position. And then we can push switch D to the motor unlocking position. That is to see put switch D up. And then enter the basic menu. Endpoint. And we can adjust the EPA endpoint value of throttle channel 3 and adjust it from 100 to the above value, such as 104. You need to adjust it until you hear the second long beep from the motor, which means the unlocking is successful. And we hear the second long beep when the EPA value is set to 110. Now we push the throttle stick. It works well. So if you want to unlock the motor when using AT102 transmitter, you can adjust the EPA to 110. And when you use transmitters from other brands, you can also refer to this method to solve the problem. Altitude calibration. BAMDB needs to calibrate the altitude to ensure the balance status. It is recommended to lift the aircraft nose with about 20 degree angles for beginners to ensure smooth flight. And now remove the covers and place a box under the nose like this. To make the aircraft nose lift about 20 degree angles. And I push the left stick left and down and right stick wider and down to calibrate the attitude. Like this. And the green LED of MDB flash once. So the attitude calibration is successful. And attitude calibration will be recorded by flight controller once it is complete with success. When using transmitters from other brands, you can follow the steps on the screen. After the attitude calibration is done, test the surface and push switch C to the lowest position to manual mode. And then check if the movement direction of ailerons is consistent with the joystick movement. Move the aileron stick to the left, left aileron lift, and right aileron pressed. Move the elevator stick down, left aileron lift, and right aileron lift. So the movement direction of the ailerons is correct. And when the movement direction of the aileron is inconsistent with the joystick movement, you need to adjust the surface by pressing the buttons on the front of BIME DB. Here it is. After all the tests above, you can install the propeller. We need the propeller and a rubber band to fix the propeller. The propeller with words should face outward. Here are the words, so it fits outward. Insert it. And click to end the rubber band to fix it. Here it is collected. And the rubber band is fixed. And the propeller is installed well. So that's all about how to use a 2 to control D460.